Hi, welcome to this Corp Mars video. In this video, we're gonna look at how to find the volume of a cylinder. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to find the volume of a cylinder. We're gonna look at its formula, so the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder. We'll also look at two questions that involve using a calculator to find the volume of a cylinder, and then we'll finish up by looking at a non-calculator question. So here we've got a cylinder, and before you watch this video, I'd highly recommend you watch the video in Corp Mars called The Volume of a Prism. And to find the volume of a prism, you'll also have seen in that video, to find the volume of a prism, you'd find the area for the cross section, and then you just multiply by how tall or how long the prism is. And we're gonna find the volume of a cylinder using the same approach. So we're going to find the area of the circle, the area of the cross section, which is a circle. And then we'll just multiply by how tall the cylinder is. So if I had the cylinder and I wanted to find its volume, I would find the area of the circle by doing pi r squared. And then I would just multiply by how tall the cylinder is. And that would give me the volume of the cylinder. Likewise, if the cylinder was on its side, like so, and I wanted to find its volume, I would find the area of the cross section. So that's going to be the area of this circle. And then I would just multiply by how long the cylinder is. And that would give me the volume of a cylinder. So to find the volume of a cylinder, we do pi r squared to get the area of the circle. And then we just multiply by the height, h. And that's the formula. So the volume of a cylinder is found by the formula pi r squared h, and that's it. So to find the volume of the cylinder, we can either use the formula pi r squared h to find the volume of the cylinder straight away. Or alternatively, you could find the area of the circle, the cross section, and then just multiply by how tall or how long the cylinder is. Okay, let's have a look at our first example. So here's our first example, and we've been given a cylinder, and this cylinder has got a height of 9 centimetres, and it's got a radius, the distance from the centre to the edge of the circle, of 2 centimetres. So we've got the radius of the cylinder and the height of the cylinder, and we want to find its volume. So to find the volume of the cylinder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of the circle, and then I'm going to multiply by the height, and then that will give me the volume. And then afterwards I'll use the formula just to show you that that works too. So. So the area of a circle is given by the formula pi r squared. So we're going to do pi multiplied by the radius, which is 2 squared. So if we do pi times 2 squared, that will give us the area of the cross section. And that would be equal to 4 pi or 12.56637 and so on centimeters squared. So that's the area of the cross section. Now we want to find the volume of the cylinder, so we now just need to multiply by how tall the cylinder is. So if we take our 12.56637 and so on, or our 4 pi, and we just multiply that by 9, the height of the cylinder, we will find the volume of the cylinder. And that will be equal to, and I'm just going to keep that on my calculator display and press multiply by 9 equals 36 pi or 113.0973 and so on centimeters cubed. So that's the volume of the cylinder, 113.097 and so on centimetres cubed. Or I could round it maybe to one decimal place and that would be 113.1 centimetres cubed. So to find the volume of the cylinder, I found the area of the cross section, the area of the circle, and I just multiplied by how tall the cylinder was. Alternatively, I could use the formula. Let's have a look at that now. So the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So the volume is equal to pi multiplied by the radius of the cylinder, so that's the distance from the center to the edge, which is two centimeters, so radius squared, two squared, multiplied by the head of the cylinder, which is nine. And we could use our calculator to work that out straight away. So if we get our calculator, we could just type in pi multiplied by two squared multiplied by nine. So we'd wanna get pi, so from working out the area of a circle, you should know that already, so shift and then pi, that will get pi, and then just multiplied by two squared, multiplied by nine. And when you type that in on your display, it should look something like this, pi times two squared multiplied by nine. And when you press equals, you get an answer off. Now, depending on the mode of your calculator, it could come up as 36 pi, and then you need to change it to a decimal. And there might be a button like this button on my calculator to change it to a decimal. And then it'll come up with the answer of 113.097335 and so on. And then that means that our volume would be 113. 0.97335 and so on and we could round it to one decimal place to be 113.1 centimeters cubed and that's it so some students really like to find the area of the cross section so doing pi r squared and then you just multiply it by the height of the cylinder or the length of the cylinder and some students like to learn the formula that the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h to then just substitute in the radius and the height and then you work it out and that will find the volume of the cylinder so whichever approach you prefer Okay, let's have a look at our next example. So here we've got our next cylinder. It's got a height of 5.4 centimetres, and this time it's got a diameter of 8 centimetres. And we want to work out the volume of the cylinder. 
So to find the volume of the cylinder, let's find the area of the circle. So the area of the cross section. So from the center to the edge of the circle, the radius of the circle will be half of the diameter. So if the diameter is eight centimeters, we're gonna do eight divided by two, which is four centimeters. So the radius is four centimeters. If this was a decimal number, perhaps, you know, 15.74 centimeters, you might wanna just do it on your calculator, press divide by two to make sure that you get the radius correct. You don't wanna make a mistake finding the radius. And then that means then as you go through the calculation, your answer's wrong, but just make sure that you get the radius by halving the diameter. So we've now got our cylinder with a height of 5.4 centimeters and a radius of four centimeters so let's find its volume so let's find the area of the circle so we're going to do pi r squared to get the area of the circle so pi times 4 squared and when we type that in on our calculator that would give us 16 pi or 50.26548 and so on centimeters squared that's the area of the cross section and then we just need to multiply by the height of the cylinder which is 5.4 so 50.26548 and so on multiplied by, or you could have written 16 pi, multiplied by 5.4 equals 271.433 and so on. Or I could run my answer to one decimal place, that'd be 271.4 centimeters cubed. And make sure you put the correct units, it's volume, so it's gonna be centimeters cubed or meters cubed or millimeters cubed and so on. So that's it. So that's finding the volume of that cylinder by using the area of the circle and then just multiply by the height or the length of it. And just remember to find the radius. Alternatively, we could use the formula. So the formula is the volume is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared, so that'll be four squared, multiplied by the height of the cylinder, which is 5.4. And whenever you type that in and press equals again, you get 271.433 and so on centimeters cubed. And you can round it if you wanted to, to one or two decimal places. So I'm gonna do 271.4 centimeters cubed. And that's it. Okay, and that's it. So let's look at our last question. So our last question now is a non-calculator question. So I'm putting my calculator down, stepping away from the calculator. And we've got to find the volume of this cylinder. And we've been asked to give our answer in terms of pi. That's the hint, it's a non-calculator question. We've been asked to give it in terms of pi. And so it's a non-calculator question. We've got the cylinder. It's on its side, so it's got a radius. The circle has got a radius of six centimeters from the center to the edge of the circle is six centimeters. And the length of the cylinder is 10 centimeters, or if we stood it up, the height would be 10 centimeters. So let's find the area of the circle or the area of the cross section, and then we'll multiply by 10. So to get the area of the circle, we're gonna do pi multiplied by six squared. Now six squared is 36, so it's gonna be pi times 36. And then putting the number in front of pi would give us an answer of 36 pi. So the area of the circle is 36 pi centimeters squared. And then we want to find the volume. So we're just going to multiply by how tall or how long the cylinder is. So that's multiplied by 10. So we're going to do 36 pi multiplied by 10 is equal to 360 pi centimeters cubed. And that would be the volume of that cylinder. So to find the volume of a cylinder, you can just find the area of the circle and then just multiply by how tall or how long the cylinder is. Alternatively, you can use the formula, which is pi r squared h. And that's it. I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you are on Corbett Mavs now and you're looking at the video of a cylinder, a video on there, if you scroll down just beneath it, you're gonna see another video. And that video will show you how to find the height or how to find the radius if you're given the volume of the cylinder. So it's gonna be a really useful video if you wanna take your knowledge of the volume of a cylinder a little bit further. Okay, all the best. Thank you. Cheers, bye.